Hello, hello, hello! Happy Wednesday! And you know what 3 o'clock on Wednesday means? It is recipe of the day! And we are here today ready live with a new idea and recipe of the day. Today we are going to be making two, that is two things with spaghetti squash. Have you ever used spaghetti squash? Well today I'm going to give you two great ideas of things to make with spaghetti squash. So let me know if you have a favorite thing with spaghetti squash and uh, we will share our knowledge and our recipes here. So I have two things I'm going to make in honor of today is um, Sorry. Down, down. This way. Push. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're on back. Um, phone is ringing real estate back in full swing. Um, two things with spaghetti squash. Okay, so I am in honor of today is National Lasagna Day. I'm going to make a spaghetti squash version with a layered spaghetti squash and meat and cheese and deliciousness there. And then we're going to make a vegetarian um, one with some spinach and some goat cheese. So I'm going to get started here. Um, hey Florence. Hey Jill. How are you guys? Welcome. So I have started here behind me. I started um, with uh, browning a pound of ground beef with one onion grated. And it's going back here, but I need to move my spaghetti squash because it's very hot here. Um, well, I'm going to get started. I'll show you. I have roasted the spaghetti squash so they are ready to go. I just took them out because I have been busy this morning real estating and uh, didn't get these in as soon as I would have liked to. But here we go on our ground meat. I started the meat while I was waiting for you guys. So I've got the meat, um, one pound of ground beef browned with a grated onion and I'm going to put in there about two cups. I have homemade marinara sauce because of course it's homemade and of course I just pulled it out of the freezer and I'm going to use it but oh my gosh it smells delicious. So I'm going to put about two cups of this into our, um, whoop, there goes my frozen part in there and let that get warmed up and mixed to to, uh, together. Oh my gosh, yum. Hold on, I'm getting marinara sauce all over the rest of my things here. Hold on. Okay, so that's going to get going there. And then the other thing I'm going to get started too is the spinach for the, the vegetarian um, casserole here. So I'm going to get started here with some olive oil and I was down to the very end of this one. So I'm going to finish it. But I thought I might need some more. So I'm going to put the end of this one in there because we have gone through a lot of olive oil around here in the last few months as you can imagine <laughs> so here we go and into that i'm going to put about oh three or four cloves i doubled what the recipe called for but that's just me of garlic into my olive oil here so that's going in and let that get sauteing and then I'm going to throw the spinach in there with that to get going. Hey Lisa, how are you? Welcome. How is my special guest doing today? So, yum. Gonna let that get going. Oh my gosh, smell that? Garlic and olive oil, yum. Okay, so I'm going to get started here. Hey Vivian. Yeah, I know. Garlic. I mean, just can't have enough. The recipe called for one to two cloves. I'm like, well that's clearly definitely not it, uh, enough. Hold on, I'm having some. My carrier wants to update. Not now. There we go. Now what's going on today? Phone is busy. Okay, so I'm going to get started on my spaghetti squash here. So I have roasted two spaghetti squashes. So I cut them in half, scooped out the seeds, and then put them down on the cookie sheet and just roasted them in the oven until they were soft. So I'm going to get started and um, pulling this apart and I'll show you they're probably going to be very hot. Oh yeah, look at that. Baby, baby. Yum! They smell so good. Who else loves squash? I love squash. So I need to pull this closer. Hold on a second. Let me try to get this closer. My director is telling me closer. Oh, we're good. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a couple of these. Now, if you like your strands short, 
then you want to go across your squash this way. If you like your strands long, you're going to go across the squash this way. So I'm going to actually go across, I think, the long way here, but I'm going to get a hold of this thing because it is, uh, it is very hot. But if you're making this at home, you could give yourself a little more time and let it cool off a little bit more, but no, we're doing it hot. We're doing it hot and live. Oh, I know. See? It's fun, huh, Lisa? Hey, Beth, how are you? We are making two things with spaghetti squash today. I'm going to get a hold of my hot spaghetti squash. I just took it out of the oven of roasting, so it is very warm, but it's okay. We are going to improvise here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yummy! And it just pulls, look at, into strands. Hence, spaghetti squash. You see Instagrammers? Yes. So I'm going to do another little piece of this one. I'm going to put one spaghetti squash in each one of these dishes I'm going to make. So, in we go. Yum! Oh my gosh, it smells so good. The homemade marinara behind me smells delish. Yummy. So you have time to make things like that. You put them in the freezer. You never know when you're going to pull them out. Like I can promise you when I put that in the freezer, I didn't know I'd be pulling out for COVID cooking show. <laughs> Who knew? We use what we have. And what we had was homemade marinara in the freezer. Okay, so this one is going to be for my vegetarian one. So I'm going to, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm going to take some lemon. I'm going to put the um, zest of a lemon and the juice into my spaghetti squash here. So I got my favorite tool here, my microplane, which I love. And I'm going to cut my lemon in half and juice it. Actually, hang on. I'm going to zest it first. So let's put a little zest in here. And how are you guys all doing today on this lovely Wednesday? It has been crazy the past week, which is all good. I'm happy. I'm back in my, feel like my regular life, which is awesome. Because we love real estate. We love houses and we love our people. And it's all good when I get to see our people and see houses and do our thing. We love it. Yum. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so many smells going on here when I'm making two different things. Hey, Denise, how are you, girl? We are making spaghetti squash dishes today. In honor of National Lasagna Day, we're going to make a spaghetti squash interpretation of a lasagna. And I'm going to make a vegetarian one here just because I love spinach. So this one has spaghetti squash and spinach, and I thought, wow. So I'm going to juice this now, put the juice in here too. Of course you guys know who watch me all the time. I grew this lemon myself. It makes me extra proud. Extra proud of my babies that I grew. <laughs> oh, so this is going in. My automated power juicer with the good old uh, elbow grease here. So I'm going to get my lemon juice in here and get it in my squash. Hey Rhonda, how are you girl? You're busy because I'm bit, bit, uh, busy, I know that. So we are making two spaghetti squash items today. I'll catch you up here. So I'm just juicing the lemon and I have zested the lemon into our spaghetti squash. And I'm going to put the juice in there. Juice of a lemon going in. Oh my gosh, this one's going to be yummy too. So in here I just have our um, spaghetti squash, lemon. And that's what we're starting with with that one. And then I'm going to check on my sauces behind me here. So I've got my, oh, oh whoops. Got a little crazy on that one. Burnt the garlic, so hold on. I will get some more. I happen to have more ready to go for such a moment as this. But here I've got my one pound of beef uh, browned with the onion, one grated onion and a couple of cups of marinara. And see, I turned my back for a second and look what happens when you're on live. It burns. So hold on, let me start again. I'm 
coming. Happens to the best of us. But see what happens? I'm just demonstrating what happens when you turn your back on the stove. Never turn your back on the stove. So I'm going to put a little olive oil here in my pan and let me, um, let me get some more garlic. I have re uh, ready to go here. And we will start again. Hold that thought. Okay. Okay, good thing. Ready to go. Backup plan. And this is ready too. I'm going to turn that off. So into my garlic and my olive oil here, I'm going to add our spinach and let it start wilting. Uh, oh, good. She's working on my escrows while watching me cook. Good job. Go team. Love it. Love it. So I'm going to get this going again. So in here I have my olive oil and my garlic. Get this. The pan is already hot. So into that I'm going to put a pile here of spinach that I started while I was waiting for you guys so it would go faster. But basically it was this whole pan full of spinach, because uh, you know spinach cooks down to nothing. But I started it, so it was get going while you guys were here. So we're going to let that saute with the garlic for a minute. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper with that. Yes, I am. So this is going to work for low carb. Uh, it'll also work for gluten free. So we've got our salt and pepper in there, and then I'm going to start our second casserole here too. My recipes are blowing away today. Okay, so for the lasagna, it can be confusing today, I hate to confuse you here, but for my lasagna filling, I have one container, one package of cream cheese going in, and then I have about here a half a cup of sour cream going in and I'm going to make a creamy filling here for our pseudo makeshift spaghetti squash version of lasagna. Hey Nick, how are you? We are making spaghetti squash dishes today, two different things, one vegetarian and one uh, like a casserole lasagna. So I'm just making, making the cheese filling, which is uh, one package of cream cheese, eight ounces, and half a cup of sour cream. And then you could put some parsley in this if you wanted. Um, I'm not going to just because Rex do doesn't like little green flecks in his food, so I will leave it out. But if you are um, cooking for adults, <laughs> you could add a little parsley in here to give it a little green. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt. Hey Carol, how are you? Into this mixture. Just to give it a little bit of something. Since I'm not using the parsley. Okay, so I've got that softened up and mixed together. So there's the middle of our lasagna. Let me try not to burn this garlic again. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh my gosh, smells so good. So in here are the olive oil and the garlic and the spinach, which we've got going on. And you see that cooks very, very quickly. That is ready. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble. Let's do the vegetarian one first. So I'm going to take the um, squash here. I'll move this so you guys can see before I do my next one. And we will start. <laughs> Wow. It is busy. Busy, busy, busy. Sorry, Instagrammers. Keep get get uh, getting calls. Okay, so we follow what I'm gonna do here. So I am going to uh, put our spinach in here with our spaghetti squash. So we have our sauteed with garlic and olive 
oil spaghetti squash. And this was actually when I saw the recipe, I picked it because I love spinach and I love squash. So I thought, yum, that is good to have both of these things together. Hey Deb, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. I'm making two yummy things with spaghetti squash today. So in here I have our lemon spaghetti squash sauteed uh, spinach. And this will make sure I have everything in there before I do the goat cheese. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll make room here so you guys can see. So in here, I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and a little bit of pepper. Yum! Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Simple ingredients and easy. Which are recipes that we like. I'm going to make, be making some more like easy dinner things because now that we have officially, we get to be home with our kids, we'll be looking for things that are quick and easy and simple to make. And things like this that you could make in the morning and put them in, in the fridge and then pull them out at dinner time, I love those too. So I'm a big crock pot fan and things that you can put together in the morning while you're making breakfast, mess up the kitchen once, make two meals. Always a good plan. So to this, I'm going to crumble some goat cheese. So yummy. Oh my gosh, that smells so good, the fresh lemon. So on top of this, I'm going to take some goat cheese and crumble it right on top. Oh my gosh, yum. And then drizzle a little olive oil, olive oil on top of this and boom, we're going to bake it for a few minutes. I don't think very many. Uh, yep. Okay. Olive oil. <laughs> Get a little discombobulated while I'm making two two things. But there's the first one. So our spinach, spaghetti squash, um, goat cheese, lemon, garlic, deliciousness right there. So the second one we're gonna do here is our ode to lasagna day, and I am gonna make a lasagna here. Um, out of our spaghetti squash. So I have our meat sauce going behind me. And I'm going to start with the first layer. Now I sprayed my pan here with just some um, cooking spray because, you know, cleanup can be challenging. So I always try to make it e uh, easier. So sprayed the pan with some cooking spray. So now I'm going to put my spaghetti squash, I'm going to put one of them in the bottom. Okay, you see? Can you guys see? Okay, and I will take another of these. Oh, they're pulling off a little bit more so I can touch them, so that's good. Yum! And I'm going to put a layer of spaghetti squash here in the bottom. And I am making spaghetti out of my squash. <laughs> Yum! And I think it's cool enough I can actually, oh yeah, I can touch it now. It's good. So you just let it cool off for a few few minutes, like 10, and you can touch it. Yay! Okay, so first layer going in here. And then I'm going to put, oh my gosh, yum. I'm going to put some sauce in here. I'm going to try and even it out a little bit. You guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm making a layer of spaghetti squash. And I'm going to put a layer of sauce in. So let me move this. my sauce here. Look, look, look at that. Yum. Homemade marinara and then I have a pound of beef browned and a onion grated that I put the, about two cups of marinara, marinara in and I have a little more sauce if I need it. But we're going to put the layer of sauce in here. Oh my goodness. You're making a casserole like this you want to try and make sure you get a bite of everything. So depending on where somebody cuts the casserole they get to taste all the things that are in it. So there's my layer of sauce. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Because nothing like homemade fresh sauce with all the yummy things. Hey Heidi, how are you? Now I'm gonna take our cream cheese and sour cream. And we are gonna see how I can make a layer of this neatly in the middle of our 
Ode to National Lasagna Day. And try and get a bite in every bite for everyone to have a taste of the creaminess in the middle. I think I've made more, lasa more lasagna since we started the show than I've ever made. <laughs> so, mastering the art of lasagna making here. At recipe of the day. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, and I'm going to spread this gently here as best I can to try and get a bite of creaminess in every bite, in every serving when it gets served. Oh my gosh, yum! So you can see if I put the parsley in the cream cheese, it'd have a little bit of green here. And spread this all out. Oh, oh my gosh, it's going to be a good one! So many of these things that we have made together have been so delish. Have you guys have any ideas on your family favorite meals? Please set, please send them. I would love to share because I know everyone is looking for quick and easy and yummy family meals that the kids will like too. So there we go. Um, next layer is the rest of the spaghetti squash. So let me grab the other half. And get our spaghetti squash going in here. Second layer. Yum! Oh my gosh. What is this? So, you are low carb. It's probably no carb. Is it cheese? I don't think cheese has carbs. Does it? Just calories. <laughs> but I think we're okay on this. For gluten free and low carb, we are making it happen here today. Oh my gosh, yum. This just came right out. I mean, this shell is like a perfect shell. Look at that. I mean, it's like just pops right out. It's easy and delicious. So if you've never cooked with a spaghetti squash before, let me give you the courage to do it. Try it. Try something new. Maybe the kids won't even know, uh, notice that it's a vegetable. <laughs> you could also do this, by the way, with zucchini. You could slice zucchini or grate zucchini. I would probably drain the zucchini with some salt and some cheesecloth to get some of the water out before I did this with it, but that would work too. So COVID cooking, you use what you've got. And lots of people have so much zucchini right now, that's actually a good option to make this with zucchini. And you should do that with zucchini today since it's National Lasagna Day. Hey Nancy, how are you girl? Nancy's on here. She is running for city council. So if you live in her district, make sure you are following Nancy on social. All right, Nancy, how is the campaign trail? <laughs> okay, so there's the rest of our sauce. And I'm going to spread that out. Oh my gosh, it smells so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, so on top of this, because what is lasagna without cheese? This is, I just grated some mozzarella, of course, grated it fresh, always, 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 grate your own cheese, never use the pre-packaged stuff because of the, you know, they put that coating stuff, it just doesn't melt like grating it yourself. So it takes a second more to grate it yourself, but it's worth it for the outcome. So always grate your own cheese. Hey Nancy, how are you? How is everything? We just made a spaghetti squash lasagna in honor of National Lasagna Day. And then have our layers done here. And I'm just topping it with some mozzarella here. Oh my gosh, because this is going to be so delish. So this is gluten free. And I don't know about cheese. I don't know. Is carb Gary's cheese a low carb? Does it have carbs? I don't know. You carb, you keto people. Is this low carb? I'm not sure about cheese. I don't know. Okay, there we go. So, we have it. There is our spaghetti squash lasagna. Yummy. And then our spaghetti squash with uh, spinach and garlic and goat cheese. So, I'm also going to pull these back a little bit. There we go. And that is two, two, two meals um, in, you know, 20 minutes. So, 
try them. Spaghetti squash. Um, this would work for a side dish too. Chicken, beef, fish would be delicious. And then this, of course, lasagna. Um, it is a vegetable, so I guess it could be a side dish, but I'd probably serve this with a salad. So let me rinse off my hands real quick and we will do our birthday shout outs and our prizes today. So today we have an extra special birthday shout out. So hold on, let me grab my birthday shout out hat. We have a birthday shout out to George Harvey, realtor extraordinaire, dear, dear friend in Telluride, Colorado. So if you are looking to buy or sell or invest in property in Telluride, Colorado, give George Harvey a call because he's so awesome. He's the best. And his wife, Becky. Hi, guys. Hope you're having a great summer in Telluride. And then our giveaway today is, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to show you what it is first. Hold on. I have two of these totally cool, these grill mats. I thought they were so neat. You can put them on your barbecue or they'll also work on a cookie sheet, like as a sill pad it says. You could use it for baking too. So I thought that is so cool. And they were black. The ones I have are white and they get very dirty. But the black ones I thought, well that's a good idea. So I have two grill mats. So if you have commented or liked on these cooking videos, um, you are in the bowl here. And you can also follow us on YouTube at Ventura Real Estate. Click and subscribe. You will see Gary's edited, um, graphic-filled versions of these live videos on Ventura Real Estate. And I put the recipes there on YouTube. I also put them down below here on Facebook. And um, so follow us. Okay, first winner today is Adele Grenier. Adele, congratulations. You have your grill mat. And next one is into the middle. Do, 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 do. It is Rhonda Holden. And you're watching and you want it. Winner, winner. See, you said it, you want it. How about that? Okay, well, thank you for watching. We love it when you watch. We appreciate it. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So pick a good one and always do your best. And you can always visit us at GaryAndLisa.com or Ventura Real Estate. Talk to you soon.